Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and it is my birthday weekend. My birthday is tomorrow. Uh, so today is the 16th, my birthday is on the 17th, and thus begins my birthday weekend. So my best friends, Age and Daisha, already told me that they're gonna be coming into town so we can have a little bit of a girls weekend. So I'm kind of like preparing for that. We have a few fun things planned that I wanted to go ahead and vlog for you guys. Of course, nothing crazy, cause you know, Coronavirus ain't that much we can really do. I wanted to take a trip for my birthday. That just didn't end up working out. So we're just gonna have a fun little weekend. Me, Daisha, Age, a few other friends. Right now I am actually heading to a alterations place, like a seamstress. I have this dress that I got from O Poly, mm, I think last year actually, and I just bought it didn't know what I was gonna ever wear it for, but I just bought it because I liked it. When it arrived, I tried it on and it looked absolutely horrible on me because it just did not fit properly. It wasn't really like a sizing issue. I mean, maybe I could have went down a size, but just the way that the dress was cut, it just wasn't fitting me right and tight in all the right places. So I'm deciding to be a big girl about it and I'm taking it to an alterations place to see if they can get me fitted right. This is actually my first time ever, I think. Yeah, I think my first time ever in life going to get something altered, like going to an alterations place. Because normally if something doesn't fit me, I'm just like, well, too bad. Or I'll try to alter it myself because I do know how to pretty much do all the techniques to alter anything. But it's just hard to like do it on yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Like pin yourself up in the garment and get everything right. <laughs> All right, just pulled up Fatima's Alterations. Don't judge a book by its cover, y'all. Don't look by much on the outside, but it have really good Yelp reviews. I do everything based off of uh, Yelp reviews. Um, they said that she used to be like the main seamstress at Neiman Marcus, and then she opened up her own little shop. So hopefully she's good. That was actually super fast, super painless. I can tell that this lady, I can tell that she just knows what she's doing. Super sweet older lady. I think she sounds like she was maybe, like her first language is Portuguese, like maybe Brazilian, I don't know. I don't wanna say the wrong thing, but she was kind of speaking, I thought it was Spanglish at first, but I think it was Portuguese-ish half Portuguese, half English, but I could understand her surprisingly well because I guess because I know a lot of Spanish and Portuguese kind of sounds like Spanish. I don't know, but anyway, she was super sweet, super quick, super just in and out, pinned me up, knew exactly what to do to the dress to make it fit. And she's like, yep, I'll have it ready by your birthday. Don't worry about it. She said she'll call me when it's ready. Hopefully, I'm hoping that she'll call me like on Friday. I need it by Saturday. So now I'm going to head to Sephora because believe it or not, I need to pick up some makeup, just a couple of things, makeup and skincare things that I just need to kind of like re-up on. You know, I want I want my skin and my makeup to be looking right for my birthday. And I'm also gonna shop around and see if maybe there's some shoes that I might wanna get to go with my dress. So let's go to the mall. Okay, so the main course option is like, um a meat, a beef, and a seafood, and two two sides. And uh, I told him I wanted to be upscale in presentation, but the food should probably not be too out there because there is a picky eater in the group and that you are dairy free. So that was my mom. She had the bright idea to hire a private chef and possibly a massage masseuse service to come to the house. Um, like I said, Daisha and Age are coming into town and they'll be staying with me Friday night and Saturday night. So we had made plans to go out for dinner on Saturday, but for Friday, my mom was like, we all should do the private chef experience, maybe get some in-home massages. So she's been looking into that for me as just like a fun little birthday treat, something different. We are narrowing down the details for that and then she's still on the hunt for a masseuse but yeah hopefully we can do that that'll be super fun i've never done either of those things before Okay, 
so I did a little bit more shopping around and then I went and picked up Zaya from school. She's upstairs unwinding right now. I wanted to show y'all quickly what I ended up getting. So really the main and only thing I really went there for was go to Sephora. I needed my Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is like an exfoliant powder that I really like a lot that I use like every other day and I ran out. So just re-upping on that. This is, I did not realize that this was $60. And then the new NARS foundation, I actually got this in PR, but they sent me three shades that were all not really my shade. I probably could have reached back out to them and asked them to swap it out and like send me another shade if I like really felt like doing that. But I'm like, you know what? This is a really good foundation. I really, really like it. This is gonna be like my new favorite go-to if you guys have not tried it. Highly recommend you try the new Soft Matte Foundation. Not sponsored or anything, just literally a really good foundation. So many people like it. And then I wanted to look at the Anastasia Beverly Hills, their new brow marker. But the girl in Sephora told me that this Urban Decay brow blade is actually better. And she showed me it and showed me how it works. And she convinced me. So I ended up getting this brow. It's like a brow marker and a brow pencil, double sided. So yeah, just a couple little makeup products. And I've been racking up points at Sephora for a long time and I never spend my points. So I had like almost 3000 points. So the girl who checked me out was like, do you want to spend some of your points? Like, are you sure? And she told me that they're now giving you money off of your purchase. You can spend your points to get a discount on your purchase, which is new. They just started doing that. So I was able to spend 500 points to get $10 off of my purchase. So I went ahead and did that and then I got a little free sample of a makeup cleansing balm. So anyway, that's what I got from Sephora. Um, then at CB2, I had my eye on these black, matte black soap dispensers. I know, super random, but I have not been able to find matte black soap dispensers anywhere. Like, you would think Target would have it, they don't. Um, so yeah, just these to go on both of my vanities in my bathroom, because you know I have all the matte black stuff going on in there. Then from H&M, I got this gray flannel. It's like heavyweight, like pretty thick, soft. Um, gray flannel and I got it in a double XL because I intend to wear this just like oversized like I actually kind of like it with what I have on today just like you know tomboy street style vibes to throw on top of stuff for the fall season swag money I don't know impulse buy and then I ended up getting some cute stuff from H&M for Zaya these little cute little pink polka dot um, jeggings and then two of these little dresses long sleeve dresses a leopard print little dress and a almost like pink leopard print pink spotted same dress but this pink color super cute Zaya loves dresses so these will be good for her and then from Zara lastly this is risky I want to try this on actually because their fitting rooms were still closed, so I wasn't able to try this stuff on. I have no idea what it's actually going to look like on me or if it's gonna fit at all. I mean, if it doesn't fit, I can return it. Okay, so here is the one of the tops that I bought from Zara. It's fluffy, and it's my favorite mint green color. This actually fits. It's not at all the vibe that I would want for a birthday brunch outfit or anything, but I just thought it was a cute top regardless. So I will be keeping this and I would not wear <laughs> these two things together. I thought maybe it could be a look. It's definitely not, it's not giving me the right, not giving me the right proportions, but this is the little skirt that I got. I, this is like real trendy right now. I've been seeing these little slip skirts, satin skirts kind of long and flowy, give you a little leg. This is an extra small, and I still feel like it's too big, honestly. I don't know if they, if this is the, if they do an extra, extra small, they didn't have one in the store. I don't know, I feel like it would be even more flattering if it was like actually fitted like this. So there I go again, having to get stuff altered or tailored, but this will be actually really easy for me to tailor myself. So the skirt is cute. I did get another top, so let's see if the other top is cute with it. Okay, so here's the other top 
that I got from Zara. It's got like a twisted strap, one shoulder, it's stretchy right here, but it's not stretchy throughout. And I got it in a size small. I was debating between extra small and small, but when I held up the extra small, I was like, mm, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be too tight around my boobs, but now this feels, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I feel like I should have got an extra small. I'm just not, I'm just not. You know, I was thinking like boho vibes, you know, effortless vacation. I mean, maybe with the skirt tightened up. I don't know, this, this is sticking out. It's like extra fabric on the sides here, which is not flattering. Again, I could take it in, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. So today is the 17th, it's my actual birthday. Happy birthday to me, I'm officially 27 years old, which is a little bit, mm, we getting up there y'all. Today is pretty much just like a normal work day for me. I've been answering emails, getting videos ready to post, all types of stuff. My little sister is in the other office doing her normal work stuff and my mom was over here this morning and she brought me a birthday card. It says, you're officially a grown ass woman. <laughs> And then on the inside, it was like, well, I guess you were already a grown ass woman, but now you're even growner and assier. <laughs> and she included this old picture of me. Oh. oh my God. Boy, how things change. And then she included a custom gift certificate for a private chef dinner. So yes, we actually spoke to the private chef this morning to um, go over the menu options. We're gonna be having a surf and turf, just all types of things. I don't even know all the details yet, but we got the private chef situated. We have a lot planned. So I've been kind of like finalizing all the plans with everyone this morning. I'm actually excited. I really didn't have any plans for my birthday up until like just now kind of threw all this together. So yeah, I'm excited. I just posted my little birthday photo on the gram. You know, something slight. Ogden, my boy Uncle OG, uh, his birthday was yesterday. Um, so I already called him yesterday and we actually already hung out the other day, but he said he had a gift for me. So he's on his way over right now and I have a gift for him. A little gift exchange. And then, yeah, I don't really think I have anything planned to celebrate today, I just have some work to do. Wanna make sure I get all my work out of the way before this weekend, cause this weekend is gonna be the turn up, so stay tuned. Look what I got, guys, from Uncle OG. Yeah. He says I have to wait to open it till he leaves, so we're gonna see what it is a little bit later. Nice metallic packaging, wow. Look, I do my thing. And I gave him my leftover cupcakes yes. for my birthday photo <laughs> shoot. And something that I can't And open. a special surprise. I'm not sure what this is about, but we'll see. Just just wait till you get home, open it. Like I said, call me if you have any questions. Well, yeah, no, I'm very excited for this. If y'all didn't know, um, my birthday was yesterday. So I told him. If Raven didn't remember, my birthday was yesterday. I did. Okay. Uh, all right, well, this is about all I got. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, the, the, the half-eaten cupcakes are not doing it justice, but what's in Listen. there? That's a good gift. What is it? Is this like a heartfelt, like? You'll see. Yeah, I don't like that. It's You'll gonna be see. a while before, I guess. It's gonna be like nine o'clock before. It I'm doesn't honest. matter. Okay. okay. No rush. A little scary, not gonna lie. Cause usually don't, you don't worry really, about it. You don't do secrets. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll hey, bye. Get out of my house. Yeah, okay. right. See you later. It's been real. Get your do rag. Get your do uh, okay. Happy birthday. Oh uh, yeah, you too. Like what? Well, mine's belated. Yours is today, so. All right. <laughs> okay, well he's gone. Now I can open it. Ogden always does gifts that are like, kind of like inside jokes. So I don't know. I have to see what this is. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to. I have a feeling it's gonna be something like that. That may not make sense. <laughs> that may not make sense. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was gonna be something stupid. Look, I can't even, I don't even know where to begin to explain this. Yes, this is a literal bag of cotija cheese, or as we say, cojita cheese. Is that, did he literally bring me a bag of, bruh. Clearly, Ogden and I have a very weird friendship. I mean, this is what happens when you've been friends with somebody for like 10 years. You have tons of inside jokes, tons of just weird little, you know, so he got me a bag of um, 
Cotija cheese, not to eat because I don't even eat dairy, but it's because it's an inside joke and I don't even know how to explain this joke to y'all because it's not going to be funny to y'all because it's like you had to be there. Just long story short, we went out to eat one time, there was cotija cheese involved, something funny happened. And ever since then, anytime we see this cheese, we just bust out laughing. We were talking about it the other day. It was just something that he did to make me laugh and it worked. So I will um, keep this in my fridge and just use it as a reminder to smile every day, every time I open my fridge <laughs> until it goes bad, I guess. But it's funny because of course he gets me a bag of cheese the one year that I actually got him a real gift. Cause usually like, we don't exchange gifts or we just give each other like stupid stuff like this. But this year I actually got him a real gift. I mean, I'm not salty. I still think he deserves the gift that I got him. Uh, I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is cause it's, it's private, but I got him a real thoughtful, real gift in that envelope. And I gave him two cupcakes and he gave me a bag of cheese. <laughs> You guys, this is such a thoughtful, cute gift. The Logans, Vicky Lou and Pastor Cam, they got me a plant. The, the, the plant that I need, if you follow my home decor page. Okay guys, so it's Friday. I just pulled up to the nail shop. I'm gonna get my nails done. Gonna get a cute little design. I'm running late, so let me run in there real quick. I'll see if I can get some footage of it. If not, I'll show you the finished result afterwards. And then Daisha and Age should be here a little bit later. My nails did. I went for the cow print tips with a matte top coat. I'm trying to find a good lighting to show you. I never get matte nails, so this is something new for me. And I love them. She did such a good job. They came out so cute. Not my typical blingy rhinestone birthday nails, but just wanted to try something new. And while I was in there, I got a call from the seamstress saying that the alterations on my dress are done. My dress is ready to be picked up. Perfect timing. Things are just going right, so let's just keep this energy going for the rest of the weekend, please. And also, my nail shop gave me a gift certificate for a free fancy pedicure. I told them that we have plans to get pedicures at a different shop tomorrow. That was kind of awkward. I felt kind of bad, but like they they wouldn't have been able to take all three of us at the same time tomorrow anyway. So it ended up working out, and that's also why I did it like that because I knew that a bigger shop would be better for three people trying to get nails done at the same time. This shop is a little bit smaller, but they do really good work. But yeah, they were like, well, we wanted to give you a free pedicure. Can you stay today and get a pedicure? I'm like, no, I can't stay today, and I was actually gonna go get a pedicure tomorrow, but they were like, oh, well, we'll give you a gift certificate. So they gave me a, they gave me a gift certificate for my birthday, and they just said that like, because last time when I came, I posted a picture of my nails and I tagged them and they said that they got a lot of business from that and they've already had like customers coming in mentioning my name and stuff like that. So they were just like, you know, it's your birthday and you gave us a lot of business. So they gave me a gift certificate. How sweet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this lady. I just love her. I stayed in there and just chatted with her for a long time after. She did a really good job on my dress. I tried it on again in there. Fits really well. I can tell she knows what she's doing. And she's just so sweet. It's just a little older lady running the shop by herself, no employees. And she is from Brazil. She was speaking Portuguese. I was right about that earlier. And she was just telling me about her life in Brazil and stuff like that and her daughter. And she's like, do you model? You should model, blah, blah, blah. She's just so sweet. And she's like, come back if you need help with any of your other clothes. Everyone is just being so, the energy is just top tier today.
Thank you. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, you know, do what I can. Do what I can. <laughs> what did you say? Watch my video. I said we're going to be competing for vlog footage because Daisha's vlogging too. Watch, which, watch my which video. Vlog y'all gonna watch? <laughs> Tune in. Tune in. You, you'll, get, you'll get two slightly different battle of the, perspectives. Battle of the vlogs. The masseuse has arrived. We are about to get a relaxation massage. 60 minutes each. So I put spa music, spa music playlist on Apple Music on my speakers in my bedroom because she's gonna set up in here. Did you get your sponsored pick? I'm trying. We're still working ladies this weekend. My massage was very nice. She focused in on all of my problem areas up around here. That was the best experience. Ra Welcome to Raven Elise Resort. How was your massage? You know, I had a lot of spa experiences, like monthly, but this was just different. The in-home experience just hits differently. You have monthly spa experiences? What kind of bougie life are you living? Hiatus. I do not have monthly spa experiences. I haven't so had this a was massage a nice... since this started. I haven't had a massage since probably that last time I'm that sad. we went. <laughs> like years ago, whenever that was. Oh my gosh, this it is so It kind of messed great. up my hair, but. Oh my gosh. Also, I get the one hour a lot, but this one hour felt a lot longer than one hour. <laughs> <laughs> she's really good. I feel like she's just really good oh at what God. she does. So. This is so good. Also, she didn't know it was your birthday. She was kind of sad when I said it was your birthday. She was like, her mom didn't tell me that. I usually bring a little something nice. Yeah. I'll have to mail something. Yeah, she's sweet. I like her. I'm, I'll probably this have to. This may have um, did something. Huh? <laughs> like, I get my nails done at home, but now I'm going to want massages That's what I was about to say. Home. I think now like, this is going to be a regular Raven's thing. Like, here we go. Raven's a new can of worms. I'm already extra getting the nails done at home. Should now, I get? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. What? what should I get? I do lavender. I got and lavender lemon. and lemon. And I mix them. Okay. Daisha is still finishing up her massage. Resort Raven is coming to an end. But Restaurant Raven is open <laughs> for business. <laughs> okay, well what do you what what should the restaurant be called? Uh, you're right. This is it. We're here. So <laughs> Restaurant Raven. So hi world. I'm Anthony, <laughs> cooking tonight for Raven and Friends. Uh, it's just me tonight here and yeah we're doing a five course meal. And this is oh. obviously in Austin, yeah. Texas. Companies Gather and Forge, started by me and my buddy Ryan six years ago. Cool. And this is what we do. We go to people's homes and we make badass food and make friends as well. Yeah, so yeah I'm excited. Here. Look at everything. Came equipped. Ingredients. We've got this already several pots on the stove. Way more than I've ever had at one time. And, and I have a bartender. Bartender right. Age is gonna open up some wine, I think. And, hold on. Let's ask my friend over here. With your steak, wouldn't you pair red wine? Uh, yeah, typically. We're, oh. we're doing a filet mignon. So oh my god! It'll be very nice with a red. I believed you. I didn't. I didn't not believe you. I just Raven and normally drink not white wine. Grown up wine. I'm they a like wimp. I'm just that a wimp. Like Kool Aid. <laughs> hey, don't call me out. I'm just a wimp when it comes to anything alcoholic, honestly. So this is what we have. So don't make fun of us. Where are you going? Um. To my, um... Oh, to your bar? <laughs> yeah. All of my collected bottles from every entertaining... Oh, and I forgot I have that, too. That tequila. Oh my god, I heard it was death. <laughs> yeah, but... This one? My cousin told me save it for a very special occasion. I already know what cousin you're talking about. Zach? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot you this. That, a brand sent that to me years ago. I don't even remember what brand, honestly. You're real fancy. And then Marion got me that. Do you have any mixers? Like what? What you... <laughs> No, the answer is no. I have oh, two Kool-Aids. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and some oat milk. So tonight we're serving <laughs> these, this gorgeous um, peach variety here. 
A little bit later, we're gonna crack into this beauty. Don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a little advanced. So take your fingers and do it a little. Ooh. Okay, now look. See any colors? No, you wanna know why? Because it's white. <laughs> no, no colors. Okay, smell again. Smell any new aroma. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of citrus. Okay, give it a taste. What do you taste? You look like you hate it. <laughs> what do you taste? It tastes like, um, I definitely taste the peach in there. A lot of sweetness. It's what would you light. rate this one to 10? 10 being This is good. probably my second favorite variety. So I'll give it an eight, honestly. It's a 5%. So this is for the lightweights. We're just getting started here, so. This is the appetizer wine. Schwanzi. Yes. <laughs> I thought we were all here. We don't use paper towels in restaurant right away. <laughs> Hides it. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> she has not a lot. She has <laughs> risen. No, oh, man. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> I think I fell asleep. I don't know. Oh, I definitely did. a pulled barbecue pork slider uh, with some aged white cheddar, very sharp, very delicious, and uh, green apple, cabbage, and carrot slaw with a little chili vinegar. Spice it up a bit. Thank Yay, you. thank you. So, Daisha, tell us how do you feel about your wine? Oh, it's okay. Wow, it wasn't just here. Mmm. 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 Yeah, mm. mm. nothing's okay. Perfecto. So what do we have, the chef? Of course, is chicken karage, a uh, very traditional Japanese-style street food. Mm. Um, breaded and fried uh, chicken thigh with a sweet chili sauce, some pickled jalapeno and onion, and a Thai trinity of herbs, uh, basil, mint, and cilantro. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Toasted bread or sourdough with uh, mozzarella. We have plums, peaches, some prosciutto, 18 month, uh, and some balsamic gastrique. Balsamic gastrique. Thank you. 10 out of 10 on presentation overall. Thank you. Thank you. For the viewers at home, if you're wondering why it's so quiet in here, it's because I don't want to get flagged for copyright with the music we were playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, we have not just been sitting here in silence this whole time. <laughs> just watching people like, oh, this is what they call us. <laughs> They're gonna be like, that seems so awkward. <laughs> All right, uh, so another deconstructed kind of dish here. Uh, strawberry shortcake. Uh, there's peaches and strawberries in the puree, some agave. Uh, we have some marshmallow fluff, some dairy-free whipped cream. It's a new one. Also the dairy-free uh, shortcakes, which actually are like really nice fluffy scones kind of texture. I love them. Uh, and then yeah, some macerated strawberries and some peach for you. Thank Beautiful. You. 
Final course, desserts. Looks too pretty to eat, but here we go. Mm -hmm. And dairy-free whipped cream, how thoughtful. Mmm, it's good. Hey, where you at? Age is hiding. Why am I being exposed? <laughs> All right, Chef Tony just left, and yes, he is also Chef Tony, the new Chef Tony. Well, maybe not the new Chef Tony, but the other Chef Tony, and the food was so good. Just delicioso, really cool experience overall. Definitely would recommend it if you guys are looking for something different and special to do for a special occasion. Um, and if you're local, check out Gather and Forge. That's the name of his company. And now I have a food baby. Not as big as mine. But everything was so good. And now, to end off the night, this is our, our chill night. And they did not finish their red wine. I can't do that red wine. I can't do Comment that down red below, wine. are you a white wine or a red wine type person? Surprisingly, See, age is a red wine. Red wine. Red wine. We're getting yeah. cozy on the couch now for a movie night. have happened. Mm, happened. <laughs> so I don't know where I last left off but I think it was when we went to the mall earlier. Oh we got we got our pedicures. We got our pedicures. Then we went to the mall to pick up some remaining pieces to our outfits. And then the plan was to come to Wonder Spaces. We are at Wonder Spaces. That's Wonder Spaces. It's one of those interactive Instagrammable museum type things where you can kind of like take pictures with the exhibits and the displays and stuff. So I had the idea that we can put on some really cute outfits, minus this jacket. We have matching pink sparkly outfits, these shoes that I just got today. This is Daisha's look. Oh, and here's Rail, by the way. What's happening? Our resident photographer. So the plan was to wear these outfits, go to Wonder Spaces. They had two really cool exhibits that would have been really cool to do like a little photo shoot with these outfits. Little Destiny's Child moment, if you will. Now what had happened was I had a mental breakdown trying to get ready. As you can see, I'm not even fully ready. My hair was not caught. I don't even want to talk about it. So we were running extremely late. And then there's like ticket times for Wonder Spaces and they wouldn't let us come in because we were late. So we couldn't even go into the exhibit, unfortunately. Uh, Rel did because we told Rel to come with us to be our photographer. He was here on time, of course. He got to go enjoy the exhibit at least. We did not. So now we are outside of Wonder Spaces, which is just like an office building in the middle of nowhere. So we decided to just use this middle of nowhere backdrop to still try to get some pictures since we put all this outfit on. And then after this, we're going out for like my actual birthday dinner. So, I mean, I was gonna wear this anyway for dinner, I guess, but we just have some time to kill since we can't go in there. Okay, you guys, this is the modern futuristic cowboy outfit Raven has going on. You see her very blingy boots. She's showing a lot of leg. You know, it's perfect for the desert. Did we just take pictures in the middle of a field and then change our clothes in the car? Yes, we did. And now I'm giving you scuba diver surfer girl realness with my matte brand onesie on jumpsuit. So this type of stuff always happens to me. I need to stop giving energy to it because I feel like that makes it happen more. But essentially, like I said, today did not go as planned at all in terms of getting our photos at this little museum place. 
So then we just been out here in the parking lot trying to get some photos. I had grabbed this at the last, I mean, I was rushing. I was already so late. I was rushing out of the door trying to grab makeup products and accessories to just do it in the car, like just in absolute shambles. So I grabbed this jumpsuit as just like something that I knew I had in my closet, but then I still only had these same shoes and stuff and like i guess it's not a horrible look but it's just not something i would ever normally pair together or reach for and this earring keeps coming off so because the pink dress really was not cooperating with me it was just not fitting right it was very uncomfortable this is a lot more comfortable and at least it fits me but it's just funny how this is what i'm gonna wear to my birthday dinner of all things you know finally having one one thing out of 2020 to dress angels looking at me like <laughs> yikes yikes no, one, you, one thing, thing out of 2020 to dress up for and i end up just in shambles not even all right not even looking how i want to look at all i just want to see my friends i want to eat good food i want to have some drinks and i just want to have a good time i'm over the whole thing about looking cute and getting pictures i'm over it she was gonna look cute anyway Oh, thanks thanks you know my friends are trying to hype me up make me feel better but you know my virgo soul is not happy right now because you know i had looks i just ooh. but you know what it's okay Woosa. who cares what i'm wearing right it's not about that right who cares about my hair who cares it's just it's my birthday it's about celebrating it's about another year of life we made it to the restaurant what's up Kenisha? What's up, Tate? 